sweet tea, iced tea, and iced coffee training. Okay, so this is our tea brewing station. At this station, you brew sweet tea, unsweet tea, and iced coffee, okay? So we'll go a little bit more detail at the top where the display screen is. You will see an on and off button, okay? And then on the display, you'll see it reads ready to brew and then has the water temperature up 200 degrees. Zion already pointed out the three different buttons. Red is for sweet, green is for unsweet, and blue is for iced coffee, okay? Underneath here, you see that blue little nozzle. It's imperative that that stays on there so that the water doesn't spray everywhere. So that's actually called a sprayer head. It keeps the water coming down through the nozzle in a straight line. This dispenser head is the sugar part for when we make sweet tea. So the sugar comes out of this dispenser and on top through the blue dispenser comes out the water. Next, we have two different types of brewing baskets. The first one, the gray one is for iced coffee. So you only use this brewing basket for iced coffee. The second basket is for unsweet tea and sweet tea. The only thing that goes in this brewing basket is a tea packet, okay? So we're gonna first show you how to load the iced coffee basket. So you will take one of the large coffee filters. Okay, you put that into the brewing basket and then you will open one of the large iced coffee packets and it says that on the packet, okay? And then you would simply dump it in nice and slow because that's lots of coffee grinds. And then you'll see how Zion slowly puts it, slides it into place below the nozzle. Okay, once it's up there, you'll see how the basket sits in there, okay? And then if there was the iced coffee container underneath the brewing basket, you would then hit the blue button for iced coffee. However, we are just gonna go ahead and show you that part when we do the sweet tea, okay? All right, so let's go ahead, we'll remove that basket. I'm gonna set that to the side. And now we're gonna show you how to load up the tea bas brewing basket for sweet tea and unsweet tea. Okay, so you'll grab a large filter pack, tea packet, okay? You'll lay that right down in the brewing basket, okay? And then we're gonna slide that into place Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and grab our sweet tea container. You'll see it's sitting right there with a black lid. When the tea is done brewing, you must have a lid on it to take it up front, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put that uh, tea container underneath the brewer. And before we hit brew, let's check out a couple things. The tea dispenser has a clear liner on it okay you see this is put into all tea dispensers and iced coffee dispensers they cannot be brewed without one of these liners in them the liners are good for 24 hours okay so you'll see it says dispenser liner so it gets a secondary holding time that is used for 24 hours and then right before you put the um, sweet tea container or unsweet tea container you have to tag a second tag on it that says sweet tea dispenser because sweet tea is only good for eight hours okay so you'll see that that's good till tonight okay so what we're going to do now is go ahead and hit the sweet tea brew button and you will start to see how the water and the sugar dispenses out same process for unsweet tea However, once you hit the unsweet tea button, no sugar will come out, okay? Couple other things you wanna notice is that Zion is wearing clear gloves for this tea brewing process, okay? 
So you must have gloves on when you're brewing tea and when you're carrying tea to the front counter, whether you are carrying it by hand or you're using a carry cart that can, you can just push up the tea dispenser on, okay? And then again, once the tea is completed, put the black lid on and that's when you'll take it up to the front. The sugar is right below the dispenser area. It's called bulk liquid sugar. They are hooked up to those red nozzles. So if the display screen ever says change bib one or change bib two, that means one of the two sugars are empty. You must change it before you can brew any more tea. And before you can brew it, you have to calibrate it. When you go to calibrate the sugar, you hold in the hidden black button. It is located in between the red sweet tea and the green unsweet tea button. So you see exactly where Zion's thumb is pointing to? Right there. You'll hold that in and then on the display screen, it will say priming bib one or priming bib two.